So the first thing I did um, is I did a little bit of research on the Indian vessels. And I kind of chose this one um, mostly because I like that it was kind of organic and it's made out of metal, but it still has kind of like a floopy sort of like human looking hand touch to it. So I don't want my capsule to look like industrial geometric looking. I really want it to have like my hand in it. That's important to me. Um, and I just, I also really like this latch. So I could include a latch on mine or I could even sculpt the latch out of clay if I wanted to. So this is just where I began looking at form and things that kind of inspired me. Um, and then the next thing I did was that I thought about my message. What do I want my message to be? And, um, you know, we've all had such an intense year, right? We've had a lot of struggles this year, uh, things that are continuing on into the next year, right? And um, we've also had a lot of really beautiful, amazing things that have happened this year. Hopefully, um, things that you can reflect on in your life that might be impactful to you in the future. So I've chosen to make a time capsule. Um, I would be very happy to also show you how to make a bottle, but for this main demo that I'm gonna do for this project, I'm gonna be making a time capsule. And I'm actually gonna go through this process with you guys. I'm gonna bury it and do all that stuff, record it and it'll be fun. Um, so I took this year, I thought about it, and I divided this year up into categories that I thought were in important categories. It's funny to me that I put food at the top here. It's not the most important one, but I did put it at the top. Um, so food, you know, we're home a lot, right? And cooking has become really, really kind of an art form for a lot of people this year. Very important. Um, family, of course. And this is a this is a, a heartbreaking one for a lot of people this year, and also a wonderful one. A lot of us have been able to spend more time with family, and some of us have not been able to spend time with family. So that's an interesting one. Holidays. So for me, um, you know, having a new little kid that's really aware now of everything that happens around him, every new holiday that happens is important because I'm trying to teach him about the traditions and, and hoping that he's having a good experience. Um, and also because he's um, from another culture from mine, I'm trying to learn about and teach him stuff from that culture. So we did Diwali this year, we celebrated Diwali this year, and hopefully next year we can celebrate with, with our Indian family in the Bay Area. Um, virtual, so Zoom teaching and um, learning on you know online wow this has been a huge adventure for all of us this year uh, good and bad in a lot of ways social media oh my gosh social media facebook instagram social media has been intense this year uh, people have been really intense on social media so that could be something to include um, covid19 of course is the big one for this year distance isolation mask wearing missed opportunities and um, opportunities that have arisen that we didn't even know could exist because of it. So this has been a, this is a big one. Hopefully some of you will include something in there about this. Politics, the election, social media, the insurrection, all of these things, I mean, this is personal, right? Everyone's opinion and, and um, experience around this is different, but it was impactful to most of us in a lot of ways. Still is. Nature, hikes, walking. So how do we escape some of this hard stuff, right? So the good stuff, nature, hiking, walks. Um, I bought one of those backpacks and my son and I take walks in it and it's just the best. Art, you know, I made a lot of felt art um, this year because everything else he puts in his mouth. So <laughs> to make art out of felt now. Um, and so that might go in the box. Maybe his height chart would be cool. Maybe some personal things, journaling. Um, if you like to journal or write or letters to yourself or something that is very highly personal can go in the box. Um, tradition, tradition. So teaching, teaching your children about things or carrying out traditions at home with your family. Uh, maybe they became more meaningful to you this year because you were with your family more. 
Um, and new experiences. What were some of the new experiences that you had this year? So you don't have to put all of this in your box. This is a lot. But it might help you to make a list so that you can really get a sense of what's important to you. So here we have this. You don't have to do this either, but you can. It might be fun. Um, I printed out some images that I might use to help me with my drawings. Um, and I could even collage them onto my drawing if I wanted to. Cardboard boxes, you know, we've all consumed way more of those than we should have this year. Um, masks, okay, maybe throw your mask in there or a mask. Um, holidays, traditions. Um, I'm probably going to print out some nice photos, archival photos um, of my actual experiences. So like my actual traditional um, Christmas tree or maybe pictures of, of Beckett unwrapping his presents or something. Diwali, we celebrated that this year, so maybe pictures of doing that. Um, I was thinking about maybe including my um, I Voted sticker. That's kind of ironic. This is sitting here. This is, um, this is a Mexican Tree of Life book that I have, and I guess apparently one year I voted the day I was using this book in class, and I stuck my I Voted sticker on it. So, but I have one from this year that I could include in my in my box. So that'd be pretty neat. Um, I'd have to say this is the, this election was the most important one of my entire life. You know, and I, I I've only been voting, of course, since voting age. Um, zooming, right? I probably have a photo of me and Beckett instead of this lady. This is the single most important object in my son's life right now. So I might include a pacifier in the box as well. So just some ideas to get you started. So I would like you to use the largest piece of paper you have. I realize you probably don't want to have one this size, and that is totally OK. Um, but I do want you to try to draw big. I like to draw big because it, it makes me feel like the bigger the paper, like the more ideas I can contain on it. It's a psychological thing. I, I don't like to draw small. Okay, so my form. This is an idea. This is not set in stone. You do not have to sculpt what you draw today. It's just the start. So I'm looking at that, that beautiful Indian container here. And I'm thinking about, I want there to be a lot of space. I want to, the things inside are almost more important than the container itself, right? Um, I'm drawing with a Sharpie because you guys can't see pencil. And I want, I want my form to be different than that, the Indian container. I want it to be kind of like organic shaped, maybe figurative in some way. This is the lid, this is the body. I'm going to teach you guys how to sculpt this whole form and then um, cut into it to make the lid. So the lid fits real nice and tight on the body here. This is sort of like where the opening would be inside the lid. Your drawing, of course, should not look like mine. Everyone's gonna have something different. And then you're gonna wanna do maybe a drawing of your container open. So like, what does that lid look like? So the lid is gonna have something called a flange on it. The flange is that internal lip that slides into the opening of your vessel so that the lid doesn't slide off. It remains intact. Everyone draws differently. I'm, I'm kind of a quick drawer. I like to get my ideas out and do a lot of different drawings. Like I might do five of these, six of these until I until I get one I really like. Put some texture in there. Maybe even my fingerprint, wouldn't that be cool? I mean, that's like a record of your, your fingerprint is like an identity record. Maybe putting your, you know, your handprint or your palm print or carving your, your lifelines into your vessel. You know, all these things to make your vessel more about you can be considered. So I'm going to take some notes on here, right? Fingerprint. Um, 
my um, identity stamp. Okay. And then I, I was talking about this with my middle schoolers. When I really think about these things, many of them are external and many of them are internal. So wow, what a concept to throw on your vessel. Outside of your vessel, inside of your vessel. External, internal, kind of like the body, right? So externally, what's happening in my life this year? Oh my gosh, so um, external or outside, okay, COVID, politics, maybe some family stuff, like, like my extended family. These are things that typically we don't really have a lot of control over, but they're happening to us, they're happening around us, and they affect us, right? Virtual. And these are all external things that maybe I could put on the outside of my design here. And then internal. So internal things, so like my um, immediate family. Um, nature, art, emotions, my letter to myself, a letter to a future self, right? Um, tradition, tradition is very personal. Uh, let's see. I don't know, where do I put food? <laughs> I guess that's, I think that's internal. Food. Okay, so now that I have these ideas kind of written out, where do I, how do I design this? Where do I put these things? Well, external, what is the external story? What is going on in the world? I mean, I, you could get literal or you could just be really abstract about it, but I think you should be literal because you cheat, you're, you you might not even find this. Someone else might find it. And if it's too abstract, they're going to be like, what is happening in this thing? Like, what is this about? So you might want to just be like really direct with your message. So I could, you know, I could actually have like a big, a big political debate going on here. You know, I could have, I could have Trump here, you know, and then I could have Biden here. <laughs> Forgive my my design here. These are my little goofy little drawings. Um, you know, we could we could be like do a little sort of. This is so bad. I'm cracking myself up here. Okay, here's my, that was my Trump. I'm gonna get the lights. And, I mean, we literally only watch one one debate, right? I can't remember. So here we go. Here's the politics, right? Politics. Maybe we have like an American flag in the background or something. Who knows? Here are my stars, stripes. This is literal. You don't have to really go there if you don't want to, but okay. And then we have, you know, this is a vessel. So the entire vessel has, you know, you could turn it around and do more stuff. So you might even want to do some more more drawings. Like maybe this is the front and this is the back. So uh, we turn it around and then maybe we have little COVID spikes everywhere. Remember, this is the external stuff. This is the stuff that's happening around us. And the virtual, virtual, virtual. Maybe I just have a bunch of text written out, you know, like this is my this is my fake text. You would have real text maybe, but I can carve or write some a bunch of text out on here. And my my advice to you on designing this is that this is your first attempt at an idea. If you don't like it or you start sculpting and your idea changes, that's art. That's natural. That's what should happen. Okay. 
And then maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe this is like the universe, like what's happening in the universe, right? So, and what's happening in the world? Like this is just America right now, right? This, this thing here, coronavirus, of course, is, is worldwide. And so this could be like the universe, what's happening in the universe right now in space. Spiritually, maybe you're a spiritual person. What's happening with you, you and your God at the moment, you know? This is this could be like larger than this. And then you flip it around and you've got, I don't know, what else is going on here? My, you know, external th family. So maybe we got like Zoom screens all over the place and everyone is sitting in front trying to connect. Maybe you could represent that in a, in a way. Maybe the boop, boop, boop. Maybe there's a grid of like virtual connectedness happening all over the place here. Okay. And then inside, you know, what, what's going to go inside? So here's where you could take your, your objects and you could maybe draw them out. And just, and just kind of arrow it in there. Pass these photos, photos, hiking, um, Diwali, Christmas tree, mask, letters, anything. Walk around your house and try to find things that, that would really um, help you connect. All right, and then this is going to be in colors. So I realize that class ends in about a minute, two minutes. I'm going to use oil pastels, and um, I'm going to get a little bit detailed with it, but you don't have to spend hours and hours on this. It is going to be due by the end of class on Tuesday, um, and we're going to be hit. We're going to hit the ground running on Friday. So, and I'm actually, and this is important for me and it's important for you guys, is that Friday, the beginning of class, when we have all these observers, I'm gonna be opening up your drawings and your ideas and sharing, we're gonna be sharing them with the class. Okay, so that is, um, that's something that is gonna be public. So I wanted to kind of like give you a heads up on that. And if you absolutely are like, I don't want my drawing um, shared in front of the class, or with with the observers on Friday, um, please let me know ahead of time, okay? Because I don't want to put you on the spot. All right, any questions?